Well, a space journalist and astrophysicist, Sarah Crudus, joins me here in the studio. Sarah, thanks for being here again. So we, we had anticipated or been told that there might be moving pictures coming to us during this hour, but, but that's not going to happen now? Yeah, it? it's more likely they're being processed at the moment, but it could be a case that we might not actually see the images from the surface of the comet until tomorrow morning. But Philae is still currently on the comet. The reason we can't communicate with Philae at the moment is because um, Philae is on the ground and it needs to use Rosetta, the orbiter, to actually send a signal back to Earth, just like a satellite does on our own planet, but it's on the wrong side of the comet, so we've got to wait for them to be on the right side to so communicate. So it hasn't stopped transmitting? No, it hasn't stopped transmitting. We just haven't got that signal right yet, but hopefully we will get a signal from it in the morning. And um, 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 the pictures will look much like the surface of the moon, perhaps? Well, yeah, because the ones coming through kind of look like the moon, but we've never been to a comet, so we don't know what it's going to look like. And obviously, a comet's very, very different to the moon, so it's different materials, different texture. It's, it's almost like a dirty snowball, so it's a mix of ice and dust and rock. So just an incredible world. We don't know what to expect. We've never been there. These things were around the creation of the solar system um, so just absolutely fascinating and there's a lot of very excited scientists around and also people because imagine how inspirational it would be just to see these pictures for the first time and, and is there a slight trepidation as well because of this bounce and the lack of anchoring yeah there is because but you've got to remember this thing has taken 10 years to get mm -hmm. there the Philae lander has been asleep for those 10 years and um, of course something might go wrong it's to be expected you know space missions are categorized into three categories hard very hard and incredibly hard and this one falls into the third category so the harpoon which was meant to almost anchor it onto the comet Armageddon star hasn't worked in the way we expected but we need to wait until we regain signal to know exactly what's happened. Sarah thank you very much.